I mean, if you're going to start a brand, if you're going to start anything in life, it's going to have to be with a purpose. If your purpose is trying to get money, trying to get rich, it will never, it will never last. Mm. So for me, stray dog mentality, I, I instilled that in me just because of what I've been going through and what I really, try, what I truly believe about the statement I wrote on Twitter. Uh, nobody respects a stray dog, but nobody can live in this world. Welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and you all know uh, with this podcast, one thing we always like to focus on is stories, strategies, and success. And man, I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm beyond excited today. We got, we got, we got a special, we got a very special guest today, uh, man. And he goes by none other than, 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 than Mr. Dior Scott. Uh, man, if, if you all have seen Last Chance You which if you're anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world, you should have seen it. Um, but if, if you have, you need to go back and definitely watch the season uh, where it was, it was featuring Dior. It was featuring uh, Langney College. Dior, my brother, how, how you doing, man? How you feeling? You know, I'm feeling pretty blessed. I'm feeling pretty good at this. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's been what you've been trying to, we've been trying to get this workout. There's been a lot going on, but thank you for like really just staying with me and just really talking to me, man. It's, I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure. Man, I mean, just like, I mean, like we were talking before about just transitions and just with life, man, you know, life don't don't, don't stop for none of us. You know, there's always going to be something happening, things popping up, but hey, we, hey we're, we're here now, dude. Are we here now? Yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're here now. We're, we're good, we're good. Uh, man, but Dior, right, so now I want to just kick it over to you real quick, man, just get, give you opportunity, just, just share like a little, little snapshot uh, about yourself. Um, for the people who who may not may not be familiar with you, uh, but go ahead, just take this time and share yeah. a little bit. Man, man, Dior Scott, uh, twenty years old. Uh, I got my mentality straight dog, just because that's been my mentality ever since JUCO. Uh, a lot of adversities have hit me, and for me to never quit, never stop, that really uh, amazed me and inspired me. Uh, I'm from the Bay Area. Uh, go to University of Hawaii now, walking on, um, just waiting for the next shot to play football with all the coronavirus stuff. And really, that's it's really just a basic rundown of me. Cause I'm really a basic person right now, just to be honest. Nah, Dio, you ain't basic, bro. Get, man, get, get out of here, Dio. You better get out of here with that talk, man. <laughs> but, but uh, man, yeah, Dio, like I said before, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to have you on uh, because I'm, I'm really exci- excited about your story, man. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really just excited because, like I was saying before, like, like your perseverance, your, your drive, what is it that has always like motivated you j- like just to have that type of mindset? Uh, I just wanted a better life, to be honest. Uh, I felt like I was always in the background. I felt like I was never appreciated that much. And to be honest, uh, my mom, just hearing her stories, uh, hearing what she had to go through. So my main thing was, I'm just gonna try and make, do the best I can do so I can help myself out, also I can help her out. I think my main goal right now is once I can give her a vacation, I'll be the happiest man alive. Just making sure that she can genuinely smile. Uh, that's, I think that's what I most appreciate. So that's why I'm going hard every day. Uh, that's why I'm going hard every day, to be honest. Yeah, man. And I mean, I think Hawaii would be a pretty good vacation, Dior. You know, just, <laughs> you know, just, just getting the opportunity just, just, just to hang out there. You know, you, you, you all getting to take some time, you know, go to the beach. But, like, is, like, is, is there a dream spot that, that you specifically want to take your mom to? It's like, you know, when, when you can make it happen, like, Mom, we're going to go here. Uh, I don't know. I just want to take it to, like, an exotic country. Just, mm-hmm. She can just be excited. Where like, when like, she, so she's been a Navy, so I think she's pretty much been, like, a lot of places in the world. Mm. I want to take her to like a real exotic spot where she'd never been. So we don't know. I'm going to talk to her about it, but that's, that's the goal right now. Cool. 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 Man. So do you, man, I got to ask you to just take us back, man. Just take <laughs> us back to, to take us back to before last chance you, right? Because if, if anybody out there, you know, we, we saw last chance you. So take us back before last chance you, like, what was that like? Man, that life was a struggle. Uh, Man, just really trying to make ways on my own. Um, 
make something out of nothing just because of the circumstances I had going on and just really just trying to get a scholarship. That was really my main goal, to be honest, really get that scholarship, really get out of the situation I was, sleeping in a car back in California where my father was. I felt like I needed to get out of California. I love California to death, but I knew that wasn't a place for me. So, okay, so Dior, you talked just a little bit about, you know, like like where you once were. Man, just like seeing the relationship that you had with, with Coach Bean, like just talk about like what were some, what were some of the biggest lessons that, that you took away that, from that time just being with him and, and you know, be, being, under his, being under his tutelage? I mean, like the biggest lesson for me was for him was like be a star. And that's not even with just on the football field. That's with everybody in life. Just be the best version of you. Like build your brand. This is – your brand is going to be what you are from the, from the time now, from the day you die. That's going to be your brand. That's going to be a legacy. So what's your legacy want to be? So that's what I really took away from him. Me and Coach B relationship, uh, it started off like he didn't even know who I was. Mm. Uh, like uh, I didn't recruit by him. I got, I got recruited by Coach Rob. So – when he seen when we first when he first seen me, he thought I think he thought just another, just another player. It is what it is. But then freshman year we got close, and he couldn't say he he could never say my name right. That's this the crazy story. He can never say my name right. It was um, Bonjourno, Dujour, but he could never say uh, he could never say my name Dior. So he was like, forget it. I'm gonna call it Dujourno. So everybody was laughing. I was like, man, what? But then, like, we all joked about it. But then I thought of it like, the journal, the journal for cheese. And then everybody was like, man, the journal for cheese, like, that's a pizza. So that's why I kept that name with me, just just because that's that symbolized how me and Bean Blessy was. Like, it's always close, but we always know our limits and we always have fun with, our, with each other. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, I think that's pretty dope, though, you know, just, just to be able to have one of those stories and be able to have, you know, like, like that memory with, with, with Coach Beam and that memory where, you know, you and the guys are, are back in Juco, you're able to laugh about. And then, you know, later when y'all get older and y'all looking back, because, I mean, you still – you still young, Dior. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you you still young, even though you know, like I know with like last chance, you and, and and even just just in the time we're in now, even though it it might seem like it forces forces people like you and like me to grow up faster. But yeah. man, you still got a lot. You still got a lot of life left, Dior. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I just I haven't even thought about everything. Like I'm still 20 years old. That's that's not hit me yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what life takes me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And I mean, I'm excited to see. Uh, I mean, as well, because like you, you know, you're you're you're, you're already you you already been been on, been on a Netflix documentary. Uh, you know, you played college football at a high level, and then now, you know, now this is a new chapter with, with, with Hawaii. So, like, like what 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 are you expecting to see now now in Hawaii? And and and, and you know, what, like, what's the expectation looking like looking like out there? Uh, man, it's just uh, I don't know, just another chapter. And right now. It's a big, uh, like, a whole bunch of eyes going to be around me and see what's, what's Dior going to do on the big stage now just because this whole last chance you hype. And I think I'm ready for the challenge because I know there's some people going to be there saying, oh, I don't deserve that spot. Uh, I'm not a good football player. So I'm just really excited to just get back on the field and just hopefully I can make big plays and be an impact player in the college football world, to be honest, like everybody's trying to do. But we're we're gonna see within these next couple of years what's gonna happen. Yeah, man, most definitely, most definitely. And man, Dior, one thing I want to ask you about is, is just your like your your level of self awareness. Uh, man, I think you have you have a high high level level of self awareness. Just like I told you, I was going back and I was watching I was watching Last Chance You and and just seeing like one how confident you were. Like not only would you say certain things, but then you would go out and do what you said you was gonna do. So so talk talk a little bit about like how you've been able to either cultivate that level of self-awareness or if you just know you were born with it. Talk, talk to me, dude. I got to know. I'm curious. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a game plan on why I'm like that. It's just really just to help my mom. Mm. She helped me gain that confidence. So with her, the power of her, just I have that confidence in me and really that self-aware in me just because I know when to turn it off and on. I would, I would never try to be that Hollywood star, never trying to be too big, like too big headed. Just always know to stay down, be humble. That's, that's been my whole motto. Uh, man, I can't even tell you how my mindset was. It was just everything that happened with me 
and just stacked against me. And that's why I, that's how my level of confidence, how level of maturity I am today, just because I, I cause just because of my lifetime and my experience, that's why I'm like this. Even though I do have a side where I'm childish and goofy, but I know when it's switch it, switch it on and off where I'm at. So yeah, yeah. Man, I mean, I mean, do you you do you you're still you're still in you still in college though. So I mean, oh, and, and, and I mean, I'm not saying that you know, no, no disrespect, but like you, you still, you still gotta have that fun part because if you don't have that fun part, man, it, I mean, it, it, it makes all of us go nuts. You gotta, you gotta have that piece to where you, you still can get on the game. You gotta have that piece to where you childish and you and your teammates, y'all just playing around like whatever. Because you know, if, if you if you don't have that, then you just you taking life too serious, and then you, know, <laughs> you, you ain't you ain't getting you ain't getting to enjoy the opportunity, you know? Yes, sir. I know. I I understand that. My mom. Me and my mom talked about that. She just say enjoy like the little things in life, and not to really sit back and really, really think about enjoying the little things. Like, man, I came from sleeping in my car to living in paradise. Like, um, I'm sitting at beaches every day, yeah. and I have to like really enjoy that. So it's like, man, I need to enjoy the little things I got in life and really thank God for what He blessed me with. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you you are you are sitting in paradise, huh? You do get to go back to paradise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw that you happen to be a, a fan of a particular team in the NFL. Do you, do you are, who who happens to be your favorite NFL team? Saints, the New Orleans Saints. My man, who and who who's your who's your favorite player? Who's your favorite player, Dior? My favorite player right now is going to have to be Michael Thomas right now. Cuz right now Michael Thomas uh really Antonio Brown even though he's not in the league right now, just mimicking him, I think that's my best thing, really trying to mimic Antonio Brown because he was a playmaker. But between Michael Thomas and Antonio Brown. Man, yeah, yeah. Well, so you know I asked that question on purpose because me and you got that in common because I'm, I'm a Saints <laughs> fan. I'm, I'm, I'm a Saints <laughs> fan. But, yeah, man, you seen how they did Tom Brady? Ah, man, there we go. Bad, bad news, man. Bad, bad news. Okay, <laughs> bad news. But uh, but uh, I saw you had a tattoo. I saw you 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 had. Uh, I, I believe it, I believe it's a Psalms. Or, or is is that your favorite Psalm? Psalm Psalm twenty three. Psalm twenty three. Psalm twenty three verse six. So that is my first tattoo. Uh, story behind it was I was going through a tough time in life. Uh, because I was living my back with my father, and me and him was going at it. Uh, football was going well, so I was pretty much low. And I'm trying to talk to my mom, like, tell her what's going on. And she just kept telling me to read the Bible. Uh, she gave me Psalms 23. And she's like, just read this. So I read it and I understand it. And that's what I live by every day. And I got Psalms 23 for six tatted on me just because at first I wanted Psalms 23, the whole scripture on me. But I'm, I'm little. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm little and it wasn't gonna work. So we had to look like deep down and dig on what I wanna want. And I got Psalms 23 verse six, which is, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life as I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, that's That's been my first tattoo and that's my favorite one just because my mom gave that to me. And that's what I live by every day of my life. Like wherever I feel like I'm down, wherever I feel really depressed i was looking at my arm like okay i got this tattoo on me for a reason mm, that's real that's real so faith is big to you faith is big to me uh faith is big to me just because my mom she really instills that in me uh i don't go to church in hawaii but with her she just telling me uh just read the word every day so i on, on my bible app i got an alert um what twelve fifty in the afternoon uh, I get alert from the Word of the Day Bible app. I look at it, I, and I was like, five, ten minutes. That's what I do every day. Just really just look at the Word of the Day. And that's what she told me to do. It's like, I don't got to get on my knees and pray heavily to God. Like, I need this, need that. Just really, God just wants you to talk to him a little bit. Just say, hey, how, are you, how are you doing? What's we going on today? Just little stuff like that. Dope, dope, dope. Man, yeah. So, so just as, you know, I'm – me and you were talking a little bit earlier and we were just talking about, you know, just like, it's like interviews and, and people hitting you up and stuff like that. And then now coming into this space, uh, well, you know, they're still debating about it in college football, about the whole name, image and likeness thing. Like what would, like what tip would you, would you give to students out there who, who are just saying, you know, 
I, I'm trying to build a brand or, or, or you know, I, I want to set myself up for success. What, what tip would you give to them based on like what you've learned and what you've seen just, you know, just, just through your experience thus far? I mean, if you're going to start a brand, if you're going to start anything in life, it's going to have to be with a purpose. If your purpose is trying to get money, trying to get rich, it will never, it will never last. Mm. So for me, straight dog mentality, I, I instilled that in me just because of what I've been going through and what I really, what I truly believe about the statement I wrote on Twitter. Uh, nobody respects a stray dog, but nobody can live in this world. And that's for me. I feel like people can't respect me. People don't understand the way I move. But can you really step in my shoes? Can you really be on that bus, seventeen years old, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, by yourself? Could you really do that by yourself? And and I know a lot of people can't do that. So that's why I really live by that brand. So for really, if for everyone starts a company, everyone wants to start a brand, if what's your purpose behind that brand? What's your why behind that brand? Because if your reason just trying to get money and it's not deep, then it will never fall. It, it's not a good foundation. Without a great foundation, you can never build a house. Hmm. Come on, Dior, with the bar. You sure you trying to bless us with the bars like that? That's what you're, that's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to do on the show. <laughs> Dang, yeah, yeah, man. That's real good. That's good, man. Uh, man, I think that's necessary because I, th I think a lot of times, because I've even been there, you know, where you're trying to get money and you're just trying to figure out the fastest thing to get money. And then you get a little bit of money, but then you realize that it wasn't even worth the time and everything that you invested into it. Right. So, yeah, man, that's, that, that's, that's, man, that's, that's good. That, that's good, Dior. That, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but uh, so so I, I I got I got a few more questions for you, Dior. I got a few more questions. So yeah. so I saw that um, you know, just as as as, as the show progressed, and, and one of the things that really stood out to me is because um, me mental health is something that that that's really big for me because I understand like even just in society now as a whole how COVID is, has affected people's mental health and how COVID has just hit people hard. Um, and, and, then, and then just, you know, as, as the show progressed, there was like a, a particular episode where, you, where, you know, where, where you spoke a little bit on, on mental health. So I, I want to just, I want to just pass, pass it over to you and just, just hear, um, just to hear from, from being in that, in that space, like you, you were, you were going through the episode and, and then, you know, it was like, you, you were feeling like that heavy, heavy level of anxiety. Uh, and then coach beam came, came out and, and just, just really supported and aided you there. Uh, I, I just want I just want to just hear you speak speak to the mental health the mental health um just dynamic and, and, and why you think that's that's important. No, no, mental health is really an important factor in life. And I didn't realize that until Coach Beam helped Coach Beam and his wife, Miss Sydney, helped me out with that. Just because the person I am, um, I have a pro I have a problem with holding my feelings aside and not telling nobody just because um, first, just because I'm afraid that somebody is going to take that advantage of me and try to use me just in my feelings and you know, try to break me, stab me in my back. And for two, I just don't want to feel, I just want to look weak to somebody just because I got all these emotions. So I had a really hard time on really expressing my emotions out. So I think for me, the best thing I, for the best thing I did was just to hold him in until mm. I exploded. But then I realized that wasn't good for me. And we've seen that on the show where, I had a mental breakdown. I had an anxiety attack, which I didn't know I had a panic attack. I was just so caught up in stuff. I didn't know what was going on. But no, mental health is really, it's really a big deal. And I'm not going to try here to be like, I, I always tell people like, I'm, I don't see myself as a mental health advocate just because I don't want that. I don't want to expose that title, just use that title as like a brand or something because I feel like that's weak. But I will say, if you can talk to somebody, you really do. Just because you, we all have emotions. We all have that inner feeling that's that uh, inner feeling that's that's gonna haunt us inside. We don't talk to somebody, and one day it's gonna flip out, and you don't know what to do. So for me, I feel like really talking to somebody. It don't gotta be somebody close. It it can be somebody you really trust at the end of the day. Um, just tell them what's going on, but you can never hold that stuff inside because one day it's gonna seep out of you and it's going to be based on how, how you're going to react on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, 
dear, I want to, man, just, just tell you here, man, I appreciate you, you know, e even just, just speaking on that, um, you know, spe speaking on, on the show and just bring bringing that level of awareness. And then even, even now, just, just taking, taking a little time and, and unpacking that because there, there are a lot of people, especially a lot of college athletes out there now mm -hmm. who are, you know, challenge, challenging and, and, and facing mental health uh, concerns are, are not, may not even be aware uh, just in regards to mental health awareness. So man, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, you, you sharing that and uh, just, just giving the people some, some, some good insight there as well, man. Man, thank you. Just, I don't know, just, I don't I just, I don't know, these, these past couple of weeks, man, I've just been really exposing myself and then it's been a weird feeling for me just because I never, I never told myself to really expose how I'm feeling the world and like expose what was going on in me. So for me to really come out my frame, come out my comfort zone, come out my comfort zone to do that, I feel like I feel like making an impact was great. Yeah, I just hope people take it seriously and not brush over this anymore because it is serious and it can lead into fatal casualties, which I don't want. Mm. Yeah, for for sure, for sure. So so is 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 there any any particular self care practice that like that you do just to you know help like lower your stress or help you know just uh, make sure that you're you're your best self? Yes, a breathing exercise. Uh, Coach Beans wife is seeing me again. Uh, once I was going through my stuff, she helped me with tons of breathing exercises. So I do that from day to day, from time to time, just see like if I get real worked up, so now like I'm now breathe about talking about it or I just text my mom uh that's really it just me and my mom that's that's really my best friend right now so I'll just tell her what's going on and she would tell me something she would tell me what she would like she would like uh tell me what to do give me little tips and stuff like that but that's really who I really go to is Miss Sydney my mom for like breathing exercise and stuff like that yeah man I mean it's no secret dear mama knows best Mom, no. Mom, 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 mom mama knows. Mama knows. Mama knows best. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh man. So, do you have have you been able to stay connected with the guys? You know, the like like the other the other guys from Laney. Um, you know, because I, I I saw just just the brotherhood that that you all had, and and you know when you're a part of something something just lovely like like that that you are a part of, uh, you've been able to stay connected and you know just stay in touch with the other guys. Oh yeah, no, we always stay connected. Uh, always talking what's going on. We always be on live with each other. Just. We just still stayed connected. It was just more than just a TV show. It was really a brotherhood just because we found that, like, it was, it was Juco, so everybody's going to be close mm -hmm. as it is. But seeing what everybody else's problem was, we like, bro, I didn't know, I know you had that going on. So seeing that, like, we love each other more. We have better understanding on, on like, why do we go so hard in football and stuff like that. So we still talk every now and then. Like, it's, we haven't gone distant from each other. Dope, 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 man. I love to hear it. I, I, I love to hear it because I played Juco ball also. And, and you know, a cu couple of the guys, we're, we're still we're still connected. We, you know, DM here and there, hop on the phone, whatever. But, yeah, man, that's always just, just great to see because, you know, those are going to be lifelong relationships that, that you continue to, you know, continue to build on and y'all get to celebrate each other, getting married and having kids if if y'all decide to go them routes. But that's <laughs> – yeah, man, that's 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 dope. That's dope. Okay, so I gotta ask you one more question for the two minute drill. So I saw I saw y'all doing a dance. Do you? I saw y'all doing a dance uh, <laughs> on the show. Yeah. Talk, what 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 is it? What is this dance? Talk talk yeah, talk to me a little bit about this dance. It's called this dance, and really, that's been that's been going on since I was like a kid. The Thizzle dance. That's from um that's from Mac Dre. Uh, if you know Mac Dre, he was really like a Bay Area legend, Bay Area uh, rapper legend. So, just did that. We just we do that every day in practice. Though we always have fun. We all do different dances in practice. But really, that was from the hyphy movement uh, back in what, like early two thousands, and it's still with us today. So that's what we love. That's what we love to do: just dance, get hyphy, you get turned before practice. So, really, I didn't know they're gonna put that on there because we did a whole lot of other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> but for everybody to like see the Thiz dance and like really embrace it, just like that's that's the bay. That's really the bay, to be honest. Dope, 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 man. I, I I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, cause you know that's those like I think that's another piece of why just, why why just last chance you was super dope. Uh, because I I think that there's a there's an aspect 
that, that a lot of people don't get to see in the locker room when, when you get the you guys are fooling around in the locker room when you know you 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 you're doing the freestyles before the games in the locker room, you're doing all this <laughs> other stuff. And don't don't nobody ever know about it unless you're on that team. Right? Don't yeah. nobody ever know about it, don't nobody ever see it. But you know, getting that inside look, I think I think that's really dope. So if y'all haven't, once again, go see last chance and then, <laughs> and then Dior, it's, it's season five right it's season five season five yeah season five season five that's my favorite season that's the one i that's the first one i watched i watched five and i told you i'm going backwards now but five's still my favorite but dior <laughs> man look so now we're about to get ready to wrap this thing up but I, I i gotta i gotta run you through the two minute drill really quick really quick gotcha. and yeah man you know you know you you know game time you know i see you out there <laughs> getting active i see you out there throwing the passes and catching them but <laughs> <laughs> but Dior, like, like I told you before, man, the two-minute drill is just I'm gonna run you through a couple of rapid fire questions. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun, and then man, we just gonna we just gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it a day. Yes, so are, are you ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Most most underrated cereal. Most underrated cereal? Most underrated. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh favorite what, what's your favorite food? Fruit snacks. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Favorite podcast. Oh God! Oh God! What's the what what's the what's the last book you read? Uh, textbook from my uh, class. Fair enough. Fair enough. What's what, what's your favorite Netflix quarantine show of preference? Last chance, you. <laughs> I ain't gotta be. If there's anything else, <laughs> hey, it gotta be. And then, and then, uh, and then, uh, the last last question I got for you. Uh, you can take your time on this one. What's one tip that that you want to leave with the student athlete? What's one tip? Mm -hmm. Student athlete, man. Every day is a blessing. Uh, don't take your blessing for granted because God can take it away. As, as God can take it away like that. As He gave it to, you, He can take it away from you. Dang. That's real. And then and then just the bonus question I always ask, I always want to hear, who who's the next person that you want to see me interview on Beyond the Ball? Ray. Ray Jean Wright. Ray. Uh, you, you might need to set that up. You might need to set that up. You. You. Already. Already. Well, D Dior, my man, I appreciate you taking the time. Um, I'm glad we got to, got to get connected. I'm glad we made this happen. And just, just really quick, let the people know how they can connect with you and uh, how they can find and follow you. Yes, sir. They they can follow me on Twitter and IG. It's the same thing. Uh, D1 Journal for the Journal for Cheese, but D1 Journal for Cheese. Uh, that's on Instagram and Twitter. I think that's where you can find me. Already, I'm gonna make sure to put all that down in the show notes so people know where to get connected and uh and and to follow you. Uh, but everybody out there, all the ballers out there, I'm gonna say it one more time. I know y'all tired of hearing me say it. I don't care if you ain't seen Last Chance You season five. <laughs> You doing yourself a disservice. One of the coldest shows on Netflix by far. Um, and you get an opportunity to, to, to get to see Dior's story. You get the opportunity to, to see uh, just the whole uh, culture that they have going on over there at Laney with, with Coach Beam um, doing some great things. So check that out. And then also, if you have not subscribed to the podcast, be sure to subscribe to Beyond the Ball. And we would love if you left a review. Okay. Until next time, my friends. This is Jonathan Jones signing out with the one and only Dior Scott. And this yes, is man. Beyond the Ball.